Imagine you could travel back in time to a time long before man. Back across 65 million years. As you travel, you would see huge changes in the vegetation and the climate. Even the surface of the Earth itself would move as mountain ranges are pushed up by colliding continents. Now you've reached a remarkable period in Earth's history known as the Cretaceous. It is a very different world. The Himalayas do not yet exist and the Atlantic is only half as wide. There is no grass, only conifer forests and fern prairies. This is a world ruled by dinosaurs. Giant reptiles like Tyrannosaurus, a five-ton predator, stalk the landscape. In Walking with Dinosaurs, we will show you how these magnificent creatures live, how they eat, fight, and reproduce. And you will witness how the forces of nature conspire to drive these animals to extinction. But this series will also take you back much further. Back to the Jurassic period, a time when life on Earth was at its most spectacular. The creatures here bathe in a warm, tropical climate. There are no ice caps at the poles. Flowers and broad-leaved trees are yet to evolve. In the air and on the land, the world is dominated by reptiles. And by far the most common are the dinosaurs. But they are not the only giants. Huge pterosaurs rule the skies, and below them, massive marine reptiles harvest the rich oceans. However, first this series will go back even further to discover where dinosaurs came from. This is our own Earth during the Triassic period. Here there are no separate continents, just one giant landmass called Pangaea. It is a harsh place, dominated by deserts. The Triassic has already seen many different varieties of ancient reptiles come and go. But now, out of this dry wilderness has appeared something revolutionary. A family of reptiles destined to shape the course of life on Earth for the next 160 million years. These are the first dinosaurs, and this is where our story begins. First light across the western hills of Earth's only continent, Pangaea. This world has been ruled by one group of giant reptiles for over 50 million years. But these ancient creatures have had their day. All over these lush fern prairies, a grim evolutionary battle has broken out among the newer types of reptile for supremacy of this strange world. On these Triassic proving grounds, dinosaurs are still comparatively rare, but they are beginning to show the first signs of their future success.
It is the end of the wet season and the local river is full, but it will not remain this lush and ahead lies nine months with no rain. One type of reptile has evolved to thrive in drought. Dinosaurs like this Coelophysis can survive on very little water. She is also light boned, fast, and she is beautifully adapted for killing. Dinosaurs first appeared around 10 million years before as small predators, but what makes them unique is special hips and ankles that allow them to stand perfectly balanced on two legs. With lightning fast reactions, they are built to survive. A growing chorus of calls signals the arrival of a huge herd of Placerias. They are making their way down from the fern scrubland for their morning drink. These impressive one-ton beasts are not related to dinosaurs. They are a much more ancient type of reptile. Once there were many different varieties of these powerful creatures swaggering across the landscape. But now the Placerias are the only ones of their kind that remain. They are an endangered species. Despite their fearsome appearance, they are actually gentle herbivores. Their tusks are used for digging up roots. But on two angry males, these tusks can make lethal weapons. For the swift Coelophysis, Placerias are prey. This young female targets the old and weak in the slow-moving herd. One day, the descendants of dinosaurs like Coelophysis will take over this world. But it is their speed and agility that gives them the edge in the mid-Triassic. 